All right, guys. Can you guess what bike I'm on? Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. I was not going to make a video today. Uh, but man, so many of you guys requested on my Facebook, on my Instagram, to make a video on this bike ASAP. And I'm like, there has to be a video on YouTube somewhere of it because I've seen people in the group chat have it. Well, let's see how it is over this bump. Oh, oh, a little rough. So I went on YouTube, holy crap, there's not a single video of this bike other than someone putting music over it. And then you just see the bike, like people walk around it, just music, no one says anything about it. This is legit the first video that's gonna be on YouTube with someone actually riding a production model, not a prototype, and showing how it is. Now, this is not a review video whatsoever. While we almost got hit on it, I do not wanna get hit on this bike. It's too gorgeous looking. We got the carbon fiber, we got the two batteries. We got a lot of stuff. So far, I love it. Um, there's a lot of stuff I don't like about it. So I'll give, oh God, <laughs> we're off. There's a lot of stuff I like and don't like about this bike. Hands down, it's gonna remind you of the Aerial Rider Grizzly. Like, what else can I say? This is literally an Aerial Rider Grizzly, just sexy as hell looking. Woo, all right, a lot of rattle going on. Definitely a lot of rattle. Now I have the keys up here, so the keys are probably gonna rattle, but I hear a lot of other noise coming on from the bike. Now, some of the stuff that I talk about on this video, I'm also gonna be repeating on my YouTube review of this bike. So, uh, just spoiler alert, if you watch the second video that comes out after this, which will probably be in like a week or two because I got another e-bike I gotta review as well. Um, so, first off, this bike, I got it when it was about, I think, 3,000 on pre-order, like the early pre-orders. Um, it was like four months ago. It took about four months to get here. Oh God, this guy better pay attention. Oh, man. They were really quick to get back to me, but they were just waiting on their shipment. So four months to get the bike. Uh, I didn't pay as much as you guys will now because the bike is now $3,400. It went up in price. And it also doesn't come with the carbon fiber that's on here as well. You're gonna be getting the standard uh, panels that don't look as nice as this. That's an extra $500 if you want the carbon fiber, but let's be real. That's a cosmetic piece, and this is real carbon fiber. It's legit. Um, but this also has a dual battery setup as well. And if you want the dual battery setup, you're looking at an extra $399. But it's a pretty good battery, 52 volt and 20 amp hour for 400 bucks. You can't beat that price for the secondary battery, but that's also going to make the bike $3,800 without getting the carbon fiber panel. Add another $500 onto that, so it's a lot of money. Another thing I didn't know that they don't say on their website is when shipping comes up. Now, the company paid for half of my shipping, but I don't know if that's just because it was me or not. But uh, the shipping was like 300 bucks or 320 bucks. So keep that in mind if you order this bike that you're going to be paying some part of the shipping, either the full amount or half of it. I can't really tell you what you'd be paying. I just paid half of it. It was like 160 bucks or 165 bucks. You have to add that into the total when the bike ships. So, uh, man, an extra like added suspense <laughs> or expense to uh, buying this bike. Now, am I having fun on this bike? Hell yes. Do I think it's the best bike for the value for money? No, not at all. Do I think it looks the part? Hell yes. This bike is absolutely the most gorgeous bike I've ever been on for a cafe racer style. This thing is badass. I love it. It turns heads like no other. This thing like gets looks everywhere I go. It's so great. Like that guy in that car right now, he was just staring at us. This thing is gorgeous, especially when the sun pops off the carbon fiber. They did a fantastic job on this. Now I will say this bike is a little rough. Um, real quick, we're coming up the hill doing 31 miles per hour, which is pretty good. Um, the bike suspension is a little rough for me. I'm, well, I've been gaining a little weight. I'm 165 to 170 pounds. Um, I do have the tires aired up all the way. Um, these are CST uh, Scout tires or something like that. Um, similar almost to the Rev 1 e-bike. I'm not too worried about getting a flat on these tires. I mean, you can still definitely get a flat, but they're puncture resistant. I love the handlebar setup. I love the display, but I somehow, I, I get maybe why it's low, because if you do flip the bike over, you're not gonna mess up the display. But I feel like I wish the display was a little bit more up here, because I, I feel like I'm looking down. 
ever so slightly at this display. Now let's go through it. The power management system is nice. Uh, you have the front drive up here so we can switch it. So switch that. Now we're in front motor only. Switch it to the back. We're in rear uh, motor only, which man, that really limits like how like the bike takes off and then uh, dual motor. There we go. That's where the power comes in at. Um, you have your turn signals up here. There's no turn signals in the front. There's turn signals in the back only. You have a horn right there. Um, this is a headlight button right here. So if you hit it, one, it goes to high beam. You hit it again, it turns off. The next one is a low beam. You turn it off. The next thing is a flashing light, which I don't understand why they put a flashing light on there. Excuse me. <laughs> all right, let's make sure we pedal because I don't want those Karens to like be all crazy about me being on this path. Um, so some things to note right off the bat when <laughs> I got the bike. So I turned off pedal assist. If you guys go and watch like Tell Happy TV, he did a fantastic video when he went to one of the, the events and he rode this bike. Pedal assist on this thing, I don't want to say it's garbage, but it's either a good pro or a, a good con because they are so instant for the pedals to kick on that even the vibration, even if like your feet move like this much and I'm not exaggerating at all, like this much, like an inch. And that's just from vibration, like rocking back and forth. The bike will take off with full power if you're, you know, on the highest mode, power mode and dual motors. It is scary, I'm telling you. I almost wrecked this bike three times because I let off the throttle, I'm coming down to a stop, I'm not hitting the brakes, I'm just coasting. And I take this hand off for whatever reason, all of a sudden the bike just takes off and I'm flying backwards. So I actually had to hold the brakes the whole entire time to make sure the motors did not kick on. That's how scary it was. So I went underneath the bike. I disconnected the sensor. Now I'll show it on my review video and stuff like that and I'll hook it back up and show you guys what I'm talking about. But for safety reasons, even if you're new to e-bikes, that is not a good feeling. I don't know what they were thinking with that pedal assist. Um, the update on here did not have any option to change like how it like interacted like with the pedals. I didn't want it to activate super fast, but it looks like there's no option to turn it off. You just literally have to unplug it. The only way you're gonna get around it for not being like hella powerful is if you just turn down the power of the bike overall, but that's not what I wanted. So it is what it is, but it's a great powerful bike. I said, just like the Grizzly, but I will say, I think the Grizzly is a little bit more affordable than this bike. But I feel like the Grizzly is ugly as hell. And I'm sorry if you guys own a Grizzly, but those bikes are just ugly looking. I hate them. Um, oh, uh, some other things I, I wanted to say about when we were talking about the dual uh, motor setup and using them and stuff like that. So it's really jumpy when you're using one motor. If you're going from like zero to five, it's like real twitchy because the controllers are made to uh, work with both motors. And then also the throttle input is very uh, sensitive. So there's not like a real, um, how would you say it? Like a throttle curve. It's literally you're on it 100% or you're barely off of it. And trying to find that balance like quickly is not like fun at all. I don't like it. I wish I could tune the throttle because if I could, I would make this bike feel like so much more better. Yeah, see, 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 I'm like, I was literally trying to like regulate the power, but you just can't. It's like I was on it too much. I let off and then the bike just has no power and then I get back on it and it's on it again. Oh, there's some more noise from the bike. So it's not perfect, I will say. Um, super badass bike though. Um, one thing that did come messed up on my bike was the shifter was broke, so they're gonna send me a new one. Um, it looks like it got snapped off. There's like an extra lever that's right here. Um, you do have gears in the back as well, full throttle, full hydraulic brakes. I will say these brake handles feel like the best that I've ever felt on an e-bike and that is one clean ass Porsche right there. Like legit, these brakes feel phenomenal. Now the headlight adjustment is a little stupid. If you guys can see that, it's these two little knobs and this moves the panel back and forth. So that's how you angle your headlight front and back. I think it's dumb. It looks stupid from the, like, from the top, but it looks okay from the front. How's it going guys? I don't feel, yeah. <laughs> I don't feel that great. I actually feel I like, sick. I seen that right now when I was on my break and I was all like, hmm, the day he does me and we're trying Yeah, I know, it'll look sketchy. So I was like, I'm just gonna come in. So I took some uh, ibuprofen and we'll see how I feel. 
<laughs> there, let me turn this bike off before I whiskey throttle it. Um, so another thing is when you do turn this bike on, it is actually still on. If you guys can see, there's a little light down in there. Um, in here, I asked RJ about it. And he told me that's to let you guys know that the bike is still active because right underneath the bike, there's kill switches that you have to uh, turn off. And you gotta make sure that you uh, flip the batteries off as well. So there's two batteries, you gotta turn them on separately. They do drain uh, both at the same time. So there's two kill switches in the back. So one goes on if you use one battery and then the other one will turn on if you use both batteries, but only one goes on if you're running dual battery. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, man, hanging in there. <laughs> it's probably a little confusing saying it, but basically two switches here. If you're only running one battery, only one of these switches will be able to like turn on the actual bike. If you have both batteries on, then it doesn't matter which switch that you flip for the kill switch, it doesn't matter. So just keep that in mind, there's a kill switch under here, which I'll have to turn off, which I thought this was a stupid idea at first, but I understand what he's talking about because that allows you to remember to turn off these batteries. So real quick, if you guys can see, they light up green, I think that's kind of cool, but uh, we would come in here and then you guys probably won't be able to, oh, you guys probably can see it. So see, we have a kill switch right here, the light's on, so, oh, wait. There we go. I think now they're, now, now they're both off. Okay. So that gives you an idea that now the bike is off. I, all right, so my GoPro turned off uh, randomly. But anyways, after you turn that battery off, you have to come over here and you have to turn this battery off. It's back here. Um, the cool thing also about this bike, it does come with uh, dual chargers. So you can charge both batteries at the same time, both 20 amp hour. I don't know how fast the chargers are. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, so I'll have to look into that when I do the review video. Um, the brake light does work with the brake levers and the turn signals have like a little indicator that comes all the way from this side, goes this way. And if you do the other turn signal, it, goes, it slides from this side. The worst thing about this bike right now is the turning radius. Look at this. That's your turning radius. It's pretty bad. <laughs> it is not good. And check this out. They had to actually cut the carbon fiber. If you guys can see that on both sides, because this little piece, which I don't understand, it's like a shim. I wonder if they had to put that in there when they tighten these down. Um, it would have, man, it would have been nice if they just cut these off because then you wouldn't have had this issue. But see, if you were to cut these short, then I think that would get rid of the problem. That's why they cut the carbon fiber. But it's not a big deal when you're riding, but when you're putting the bike away and you know you want to turn the bike into your garage or wherever you're storing it, it's a little bit of a, a pain in the ass. But anyways, um, let's get on to the night riding footage and let's see how these uh, headlights and everything look. <laughs> Which way you go? This way? Yeah. See, my turning radius on this bike sucks. All right, see you, man. Hey, if you get a bike, Carlos, you could join us. <laughs> Got the Rev 1 and the Rumble Motors. <laughs> Ow, and I just hit my, my ankle. Turn mine on. I'm like, I'm trying to remember how I had to turn this bike on. <laughs> so I got two batteries to turn on. You gotta turn both of them on? Not really, you can use one battery if you want. And then I got the kill switch, like, once that's on, then the bike's on. I got f three ways to turn this bike on, then it's, then we're good. I do wish this display was like higher. Cause I, I feel like it's too low, I wish it was like more higher. You have to be looking down more. Yeah, cause I can't do this, cause then I can't see it. <laughs> but I just feel like it's too low, but maybe they did that if you wreck, it does, it's not too high. And this will hit oh, before that, I don't know. Yeah. This is pretty far up there. Yeah, a little bit. It's still protected by the sides unless like someone directly hits it in the middle. I'll follow you. All right. You, you want to try to, you want to get a race going? Well, so you want to get a race going? We'll try. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, I'll let you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This thing was hopping all over the place. <laughs> it got like a weird start. That was interesting. It had a very, very big delay. Now I don't have a mirror on this thing, so I can't see behind me. I should have had him go in front of me because I am also faster as well. So I don't want to leave him in the dust. Oh, I don't even have my headlight on. Hold on. Wait, is my headlight on? No. <laughs> There we go. I couldn't see. Now I can see. Okay, cool. Now I see why a lot of people say that uh, 
they like to put these headlights in like a dual mode so they're not straight up and down because it's very narrow it's absolutely insanely bright i'll say that this is like hands down a very very bright light but it's not very wide so i would like to see two of them side to side all right my buddy's still behind me i'll wait for him when i get up to this light another thing too is i don't know if the speed is accurate like the gps i haven't put my phone up here yet to verify it so i don't want to say we're going 38 miles an hour and we're not actually doing that <laughs> you're still behind me he's still there he's coming he's coming <laughs> oh he's using his turn signals and everything look at him look at him go i want to let him go in front of me because then i can record him what is that noise i think that's like the fender or something <laughs> no it had like a delay though so i don't know like if it's on the new software update or not but it had a very huge delay starting and then it just peeled out when it took off <laughs> yeah it's a fun bike though it just makes a lot of noise I'll let you go first. <laughs> Cause I feel like I could take off on you and I don't want to leave you behind. So I can regulate my power. Yeah, I was way behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw it and I was like, oh, I left him. <laughs> so I'll let you go first. <laughs> Woo. All right, yeah, so from like zero to three, what I'm noticing right off the bat is, yeah, it just has a very weird like takeoff where it's just like it hesitates. And I'm in a dual motor setup. Normally it only does that. Uh oh. I seriously like felt like <laughs> something like a bolt rattle loose. I don't know what that was. That could be anything. I have not went over this bike yet. The main thing I was just hoping it wasn't the keys. Maybe the keys were making noise because I do have the keys up here. Oh God, <laughs> I'm all looking at my keys and not paying attention. I don't know, so what do you guys think? Uh, drop a comment and let me know what you guys think about this uh, headlight on the bike. I know a lot of people are saying they just weren't liking it and they would rather it be more wider, but I mean, I, I can deal with it. I, I can seriously deal with it. I'm not gonna say any pros or cons about this bike that I'm not willing to back up because I bought this bike myself. I'm gonna say everything I want about it. See, let's see if I can catch up to them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This bike can definitely go. <laughs> definitely, this bike can go faster. See ya, man, be safe. So I feel like he was doing like 34, 35, where this thing is just gonna stay at like 38 miles an hour all the time. Uh-oh because we do have a dual battery setup, so I'm not too worried about losing range. Which a matter of fact is uh, I haven't actually looked at the range. <laughs> so I need to see like where we're sitting at right now. So, oh, okay, so it's very, very tiny. It's super hard to see. Uh, 56.0 volts. So that's where we're at right now. All right. Oh, 56.2 volts. What is full, like 58.8? We've only went down like two volts roughly and i went to work which is like six and a half miles almost seven that's not that's not actually bad at all not bad at all i feel like i get some uh decent range on this bike yeah there's a uh there's a massive uh delay when it picks up it's very weird I'm pretty sure RJ told me I was on the latest uh, software. Woo, I should be paying attention to the road, especially on a road that I do not come down when I go home. I do not take this road. Every time I do come on this road, I do not stay in the bike lane. I'm always on my Suron or my Onyx or the Super 73. I don't ever stay in the bike lane over here, so I gotta be very careful. <laughs> the motorcycle guy, uh, oh dang, he waved at me. It's probably the helmet. He probably saw the LEDs. I got the LEDs going and stuff like that. I definitely think the next thing I got to do ASAP is we have to put a mirror on this bike. If I'm going to be riding it, doing some videos on it, I can't see anything. This is like, I don't know. <laughs> and it feels weird being over here without pedaling because my helmet just so lit up and I'm 
at the limit where like I'm doing the speed limit, but I'm not doing the speed limit. Like the speed limit is like 45 right here. And I'm almost doing 40, but it's not enough. Oh God, I'm gonna have to pass this guy. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh crap, was well, the bike lane in? Okay, hold on. Oh man, okay. All right, where's my bike line? This is not okay. <laughs> oh, oh, no, no, no. So there's a big like, I don't know how you would say it. Um, the road is cracked and the way these tires just caught that road right there, it wanted to go down. It instantly just wanted to throw me on the floor. That was very scary right now. Holy crap. Am I gonna make it? Am I gonna make the green light? Oh man, why, why? <laughs> Dang, man, I really thought I was gonna make it and this is not gonna pick me up. I'm gonna have to go through it. 100% gonna have to go through it. So, uh, watch me. Watch me. All right, just pedal. All you gotta do is just pedal and you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Uh, one thing about pedaling on this bike that I have noticed is uh, the cranks feel pretty long. Now, I don't know if they're very close to the ground. Doesn't look that close to the ground. My feet do come up pretty high when I'm pedaling. So, um, tall people i'm not exactly sure how you're gonna feel on this bike so just keep that in mind i don't know if these people are getting on the freeway or just being a dick because i'm like on the side of them or what I don't know. all right nice turn signal buddy nice turn signal see what is that noise rattling it's gonna be the death of me i gotta figure that out i do not want any rattles on my quiet electric bike you know what i'm saying so, all right, is he gonna turn into the 7-Eleven? Sometimes they always pull into this little parking lot, so gotta be careful. I'm not trying to be in their blind spot right now and get ran over. Okay, do we got enough juice to pass him? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, right. do we have a horn? Let's go, baby, let's go. We passing traffic, we passing traffic. I love it so far, I love it. Now, this isn't a technically street legal bike. It goes over 28 miles an hour, but let's be real. What e-bike nowadays does the legal speed limit? The cheaper ones that aren't fun, right? The ones that don't even look like, you know, e well, the ones that like specifically look like e-bikes, but we want something that looks more like a motorcycle, more stylish, you know, stuff like that. That's how I feel. And I feel like this is where this bike comes in handy is it doesn't look like a normal e-bike. It's kind of crossing the border of being a motorcycle, but it also still doesn't go as fast as a motorcycle either. So, I don't know, it, it's cool, I think. Man, I, I don't know how I feel about these tires. I'm kind of glad I came out here just to kind of test out the bike. So when I do my video review uh, soon, I don't know when I'll get to it, but I'll have a better understanding of how the bike is. You know what I'm saying? And right now, these tires just feel very odd on the road. They feel like a dirt tire, but then it feels like a street tire. But it's kind of all over the place, especially with like grooves in the road and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of them so far. I'll take the Rev 1 tires all day long. And then obviously I would put some like scooter tires and stuff like on this bike and you'd be set without getting a flat. That's actually something I would probably like want to do. I don't know, I'll figure it out but I definitely want to make a lot more videos of this and fix whatever's in the front. <laughs> but that's pretty much it, guys. This is just a surprise video to show you what bike I'm currently riding right now because I know a lot of you guys have just been up my butt. <laughs> Not physically, but just, you know, I seen your guys' comments. Trust me, I want to put out the content that you guys want. And I'm trying to do that right now for you. I really love the brakes, man. That's my favorite thing. Absolute favorite thing about this bike is the brakes. And obviously the looks, we already talked about it. The looks are hands down, this is the best e-bike for looks I've ever had. Other than my custom Super 73, but I put a lot of money into that thing. I don't think I would ever really do anything to this. Like, yeah, you could put a 72 volt on here and you could put a big battery in the frame because it's set up kind of like the Super 73 in a way. Um, but I'm just, I'm probably not gonna do it. It's not really something I really plan on doing. See, see how that jumpiness to it? I'm gonna try that again. I wanna show you guys. One, two, three. 
Huh. That's weird. That's very weird. I don't know what update I'm on. I don't know. Yeah, very weird though. But anyways, that's the video, guys. I'm home. I'll see you guys in the next one. True MVPs for sticking around. This definitely just feels like the aerial rider all over again, really. <laughs> just with a way better seating position and looks badass. Oh, I found out what that noise is. It's the um, it's the fender. The fender is hitting this. Okay. So is there a way to? Oh, okay. If I bend this up, I can actually make that work. So if I just bend this bracket, we can see it kind of moves a little bit for the headlights. Um, that seems like it's fixing the issue. Okay, cool. That's good to know. But look how the bike looks. Look at it. It's dope. So dope looking. Absolutely beautiful.